During the summer of 2021, as part of a long-term strategic plan, Clallam County PUD rebuilt its airport substation from a voltage of 69 kV to 115 kV. Located on the west side of Port Angeles, airport substation has three distribution feeders which supply power to 707 customers. Shown here is a map of all of Clallam PUD's electric power lines in the area around airport substation. Airport feeder A supplies 90 customers along Highway 101 West. Airport feeder B supplies 498 customers in the Black Diamond area. And airport feeder C supplies 119 customers in the area around the airport. All power must be removed from the substation in order to be able to rebuild it, but all of the customers on that substation must still remain in power. To accomplish this, all distribution feeders in one substation can be tied to a feeder in a different substation. Airport feeder A is tied to Laird Corner feeder D. Airport feeder B is tied to airport feeder C, which is then tied to Laird Corner feeder A. Now, all of airport substation customers are supplied from the Laird Corner substation. Years of planning and design went into preparing for this rebuild. Replacing nearly everything inside of the substation, there was a lot of planning to ensure the rebuild went smoothly. Detailed drawings specify all of the new conduit required for the new control wires. The substation is excavated to make a path for the new conduit. PUD crews make short work of installing over 850 feet of new conduit. The conduit is laid out in a specific order and routed inside of the control house. A heavy lift crane is brought on site to remove the old transformer from the substation. Weighing 55,100 pounds, the heavy transformer is carefully lifted from its pad and set on a waiting low boy for removal. At over 13 feet wide, 13 feet tall, and 11 feet deep, the new transformer is considerably larger than the old one. Walking up close to it, the massive size of this transformer becomes readily apparent. Weighing in at 129,000 pounds, the new transformer is also nearly 74,000 pounds heavier than the old one. A huge low boy is brought in to transport the transformer to its new location. Skilled crews and heavy equipment make lifting this huge transformer look easy. The transformer is carefully set on the low boy, ready for transport. Due to its massive size, the Washington State Department of Transportation would only allow the transformer to be moved at night. With the transporting truck weighing in at 70,000 pounds, carrying a 129,000 pound transformer, this is 200,000 pounds rolling down the road. Supported by a fleet of PUD vehicles, this is an impressive convoy moving through the streets of Port Angeles at night. Once on site at airport substation, the transformer is carefully lifted from the low boy, swung around, and carefully lowered down onto the foundation. And the new transformer has found its new home for likely more than 50 years. Detailed engineering drawings describe all of the details for the new circuit breaker foundations. New circuit breaker foundations are framed up and reinforced with rebar. Concrete is then poured, forming the new circuit breaker pads. Similarly, engineering drawings showing all of the details for the new circuit switcher foundations are drawn up. The new circuit switcher pads are framed up, reinforced with rebar, and concrete poured to create them. With 4.5 yards of concrete in each pad, there's a lot of concrete to pour. The new circuit switcher and circuit breaker foundations are now ready to accept the new equipment. The next task at hand is the rebuilding of the main bus. The main bus accepts power from the transformer and distributes that power to the four station circuit breakers. New equipment to replace all of the insulators and switches on the main bus are brought into the substation. PUD crews in bucket trucks boom into the structure and begin the task of removing and replacing all of the insulators and switches. 
That means there are hundreds of nuts and bolts to remove and replace. Each piece is unbolted and then lifted from the main bus. The boom operator then swings the piece of equipment around and slowly lowers it into a waiting scrap bin. Piece by piece the old equipment is removed and the new equipment installed in its place. The main bus is now rebuilt and ready for service. The next task at hand is the replacement of the transformer high side bushings. These bushings allow the connection of the transformer to the incoming 115 kV high voltage power insulating the high voltage lines from the ground. The bushings are lifted up and swung into position. Pulling strings are tied to an electrical wire inside of the transformer. This wire brings the power into the transformer. This internal transformer wire is pulled out of the tank and threaded into the high side bushing. The high side bushing is carefully lowered into the transformer and bolted into place. The bushings are now ready to connect the transformer to the incoming 115 kV high voltage power lines. Next comes the task of installing the three station circuit breakers. These circuit breakers are what supply and protect the power to our customers. Weighing 2,600 pounds, these are heavy and very expensive items to carefully maneuver into the substation. Once set into place, legs and supporting cross braces are installed on the circuit breaker. The process is then repeated two more times for the next two station circuit breakers, gently setting each breaker into position. The three circuit breakers are now set into their final position. The circuit breakers must now be attached to the main bus to receive power from it. A large roll of copper jumper wire and copper connectors are assembled for the purpose. The connectors are installed on the circuit breaker. The total length required for each jumper is measured. One by one the jumpers are installed between the main bus and the circuit breaker. Six jumpers for each circuit breaker, 18 jumpers in total required. All jumpers are now installed and the circuit breakers are ready for service. The next task to accomplish is installation of the station circuit switcher. The circuit switcher is a protection device capable of interrupting all of the electrical energy coming into the substation. Support legs and structural framing are installed. Then three 1200 pound circuit braking devices are installed on the framework. Having sat idle for over two years and transported two different times for a total distance of 23 miles, a battery of complicated tests is performed on the transformer to ensure there is nothing wrong with it and that it is fit for service. Highly trained PUD substation crews analyze the data and give the transformer a clean bill of health. Containing 6,000 gallons of oil, which is a key insulating component of the transformer, it is critical that the oil is free of moisture and contaminants. The oil is processed for nearly three weeks to ensure it is clean and ready for service. A new battery charger and station batteries, which allow the substation to continue to operate in the event the station itself loses power, are installed. New control wiring is pulled in. 29 multi-conductor cables totaling over 1,200 feet in length are pulled from equipment in the substation into the control house. These cables are then neatly arranged into a wireway, routing them to their destination. Detailed engineering drawings specify the layout of the control panels. These panels contain the electrical devices which monitor the power flow on each distribution feeder and protect the lines at substation in the event of an electrical fault in the field. PUD substation crews deliver the panels to the substation and then install them inside of the control house. Intricate schematic and wiring drawings detail where each and every individual wire must be connected. With hundreds of points to terminate, PUD substation crews are skilled at focusing on the details, ensuring that each wire is connected to the correct location. The digital protection relays are fully function tested to ensure that they function exactly as intended and as programmed.
After over three months of construction involving multiple PUD crews and contractors, the substation is ready. It's time to turn the power on. Okay. All right, Casey, this time you're instructed to close circuit switcher 1502. Okay, sir, closing circuit switcher 1502. That is correct. You ready? We are energized. Awesome. And the transformer hums to life, bringing clean, reliable power to Clallam County PUD customers for years to come.